30 seconds. That's all thieves need to steal thousands of dollars of equipment from your car and leave you with a big bill from the mechanic. Catalytic converter thefts are out of control. The trend that started in the Houston area now hitting Beaumont and even rural parts of Southeast Texas like Newton County. Good evening everybody. One Beaumont man had his converter stolen while he was grabbing a quick dinner with his family. Now police say new legislation that's supposed to crack down on buyers and sellers of these precious metals really hasn't done much at all. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert is live new at 10 with the impact these thefts are having in Southeast Texas. Yeah, Jordan, I spoke with that gentleman. He says he had his catalytic converter stolen in this Papados parking lot. Police say it's an ideal location for thieves so close to the highway it makes for a speedy getaway. What started as a normal family dinner at Papado. Um, we went inside and ate. We were in there for about an hour. Uh, went back outside and I started the car. It sounded like a motorcycle. Turned into a nightmare. Then I talked to a police officer. He came and filed a report afterwards and he said 30 seconds they're in and out. This Beaumont resident had his catalytic converter swiped in broad daylight. He asked us to protect his identity in case the thieves are watching. It's a little, it's, uh, it's a little scary just not knowing, you know, just going and having, you know, just going throughout your daily life and not knowing that something like that could be happening while you're. It's uh, these guys are out there and they're not just your common everyday criminal. I mean, some of these guys are carrying guns and they don't want to get caught. Detective so, Kane uh, Dean has tracked catalytic converter thefts for years. He says they aren't getting any easier to trace. But it's not going away. It's uh, it's a constant. There's no rhyme nor reason to what they do and how they do it. There's no day of the week that's that's better than others. Um, it's not a weekend thing. It's not a it's not a young thing. It's not an old thing. It's gotten so bad. Victims are looking for ways to keep it from happening again. Different types of security devices, on whether it be something that's welded in place on the catalytic converter itself, or some of them are going to even so far as to use like off-road panels to cover the underside of the motors and things on the car where they can't get to them. In June of last year, Governor Abbott signed House Bill 4410, which makes it a felony to buy or sell stolen catalytic converters. You're cracking down on the buyer and that makes the seller be a little bit more standoffish. I'm not going to say it makes him go away. And until thieves move on to something else, victims say we should all pay attention. Like, you know what, I'm just going to hang by and watch your stuff for you just because I'm a little more paranoid now of something happening. Just, you know, you can look away for a minute or so and something like that happens. And Detective Dean says since 2020, at least 400 catalytic converters have been stolen in just Beaumont alone. He says if you see something happening, you shouldn't intervene, but instead should just call police. Live in Beaumont, Cameron Seibert, 12 News. Cam, that is definitely a good reminder not to intervene. And to show you how bold these catalytic converter thieves can be, remember last week a Harris County Sheriff's deputy lost his life when he confronted three men who were trying to steal his catalytic converter. A shootout followed. Those three suspects now face capital murder charges.